everybody. My name is Lynn Oliveri. I'm a master hypnotist. And to get ready for your week on Body Take Back, I was thinking, have you ever made up your mind to do something? I mean, you really, really wanted it. You said, this time I'm going to do it. And you had the most compelling reason ever. And it was something that was really important to your heart. And you ordered your products, you got ready, you started with a bang. And then a few days or weeks later, you find yourself not doing it. Now, it's not because the thing that you wanted to do wasn't important. It's not because like your weight loss or your improved fitness didn't matter to you anymore. It's heck, it's still actually very important. And you know, you probably weren't doing it and it was still important. And then you had all these feelings, negative feelings like anger and sadness and guilt. And, and guess what? If that has ever happened to you, it's not your fault. It's not your fault because this is how we're conditioned as people. It's the way our minds get programmed. So today I am thrilled to be joining you on Body Take Back. And I'm so excited because, you know, when I was doing my journey, Nick and Ellie and all of Isogenics was really there for me. So if you're watching this, I know something about how you might be feeling. And I hope that you are at the point where today this is it for you and this is your time and you're going to do it. So today we're going to take a look at how I help people make permanent positive change. I'm going to give you one of the master keys or the lessons from my program that I have called unlock your body transformation code. And you'll actually be able to get something from this lesson. It's a lesson on alignment. Now, when people work with me one on one, I would take them through the six phase process and it's usually about $3,000 and they think that is a bargain because the way I train them, what I teach them to do gives them ease at making permanent positive change for the rest of their lives. Now, other people work with me as a group member and my group programs are right around $500 and they get really similar results and they think that is a great deal too. But for you guys, you're going to get this fabulous, fabulous master key training and this trans experience. It's complimentary. It's because these guys were there for me and I really want to be there for you now too. So to make great use of your time today, I'm going to start by giving you a little bit of foundation. We'll talk about brain science. We're going to talk and understand how hypnosis works and what it feels like when you're hypnotized. Then I'm going to teach you the master key from my program, Unlock Your Body Transformation Code. And this will be the unit on alignment. So you're going to learn about alignment. And first, I'll give you a few concepts that you can relate to. I'll help you understand where, why you start a goal and then just give up. I'll also teach you how to make that goal stick. And I'll teach you about how your thoughts and your actions work together. And then we're going to practice because what good is knowledge if you don't practice? We're going to practice doing alignment and we're going to do these intentions through trance. Now the doing is going to be an experience that uses hypnosis. So in just about 10 or 15 minutes from now, if you're ready during the same video, I'm going to take the concepts you've learned and I'm going to guide you right into hypnosis or trance. And that'll be the doing hypnosis for alignment. So a lot, doing hypnosis makes it really come to life for you. So when you have a, a taste of what it's like to be hypnotized, then you'll understand how the goals that align your thoughts and your words and your actions actually fit together. And then finally, as my chapter here, what I've created is a custom trance training. It's an audio that you listen to for body take back and you can download that audio. It's yours to keep, it's yours to use daily. It's a reinforcement and it's designed to help you think the right thoughts and align your actions to stick with the basics of isogenics. Boom. And that is your being phase because you're the person who makes the great choices. You're going to love the products. You're really going to love them. You're going to be in alignment with allowing those products to work for you. It's how you form a new habit. It's how your habits become your new personal reality. So this is going to be awesome then all you have to do is take this into the rest of your week, the rest of your months, the rest of your year, actually, as long as you want to using alignment reinforcement to just move with ease into whatever it is you're doing. So then that's it. 
We'll do learning, we'll do doing, and then we're gonna do being. And you see, I am here to make your isogenics program work. It's the key to making all the changes in your life. So that's why they brought me here. And I'm guessing all this sounds good. So maybe you're wondering, who is this blonde girl talking to me right now? Let me give you just a little bit of my story. I'm known as one of the top, most effective hypnotists in America. It's because I combine my super effective, rapid transformational hypnotherapy program along with transformational coaching. And the secret, the secret about the way I work is that I have some energetic gifts that other people, well, not everyone is quite tuned into yet. And what I mean by that is when I work with people, I have the superpower. It's like an intuitive view and I can see right inside. I can see right inside and know what's holding a person back. And the good news is that I also see simple solutions. I see shortcuts to removing those barriers. So, which is really how I managed to gain this acclaim and reputation globally, frankly. My clients tell their friends, they tell their friends, and I've been blessed to stay fully booked because, well, in a lot of ways, I am the secret weapon for some massively successful people who've had one or two things that deep down inside were holding them back. And you know, all because of the power of Zoom, I'm currently working with people that are in the UK, they're in Europe, all throughout America. And now I've got folks down in Australia and New Zealand too. I get fabulous results from my clients. They're happy. What do I do? Let's see. I can magically help clients optimize their bodies and improve their performance. I can alleviate anxiety like bam in one session. I can help people change their perspective on stress and it's like done. And then there's also that troublesome thing that most high performers have inside. It's a feeling that they never tell anybody about. It's that little bit of self doubt. It's the, I'm not enough in here. You know this one? I'm not enough or I'm not good enough. And when you get past that and you embody a real feeling of self love of really trusting yourself, that's when performance and everything just flows. So let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, I've also got a specialty and it's one of my favorite partnerships. I have a specialty partnership working with enhancing sensuality and sexuality. And I'm actually partnered up with one of the top doctors in the, in the world on this. He's the physician who was in charge of the development of the erectile function drug known as Cialis. And we are actually tr researching and finding out right now that my hypnotherapy techniques are almost as effective as that blue pill for men and actually more effective than almost any drug that's ever been developed for women who are having sexual health issues, who are having men who are having erectile dysfunction or ladies that want improved and enhanced ability with their bodies and their orgasms. So all these wonderful things that I do with trance and hypnosis, but today we are talking about one of my favorite subjects and that is the mind body connection. That is my genius zone, how to get in the body and change. So well, let's see, when it comes to my story, like my personal story, I was great at guiding people to this like fast success, but I wasn't getting my own results. All right. It's confession time. And I'll tell you, I was a yo-yo dieter. Mm -hmm. I lost 20 pounds. I'd gain it back. I'd lose it again. I'd gain it back. I joined Isogenics and I lost 30 pounds. And guess what? I gained it back. So I hit bottom. Actually, I hit the top of the scale. I hit the top of the scale at about 205 pounds. I was having trouble getting up and down the stairs at my house. My sex drive was gone. I, I felt like I was shriveled up. I felt like I was really dying inside. And I said, Lynn, what do you, you got to do something about this. So I took my own process and I went really deep inside. I knew I had to get to the root cause of why I wasn't staying committed to these health goals because they were so important to me. And I wanted to be playful. I wanted to be joyful. I wanted to have the life I helped other people achieve. And the thing is, it was harder when it came to me because 
I can do that look inside when I see other people, but when I looked inside myself, I, well, I was believing my own BS to tell you the truth. I was fooling myself. I was fighting myself. And so working through this, I was able to gain an even deeper understanding about how resistant works and how to make the change stick by looking inside and really unlocking. I was able to decode my own stuff and I ended up calling that how to unlock your body transformation code. And I'm able to teach it. I'm able to demonstrate it and it's perfect. So it's, that's the solution that I have for you. And maybe you wonder what are her credentials? So I'm a master hypnotist. I'm a certified hypnotherapist. I specialize in something called rapid transformational hypnotherapy. And that's the Marissa Peer RTT method. I'm also a certified transformational coach. I've got undergraduate degree from the University of Iowa and I've got graduate studies in psychology from Aurora University in Chicago. So I've got the experience, I've got the qualifications and training, and I can take you on a journey. So back in 2019, I started using hypnosis to unlock my own personal BS. And right now, I, I will tell you, I'm feeling healthier than I ever have in my entire adult life. I'm happier. I'm, you know, things are just flowing for me. And it's, it's so awesome, but it is uncomfortable to admit how I was back before I, I started. So rather than describing how miserable I was in my body, I'm just gonna show you a picture. And this is me back in December of 2019. And then here is a photo of me nine months later. At that point, I had lost about 45 pounds. I, when I started, I was diabetic. I had high blood pressure. I was sick in just about every way you can look at the picture. I am an absolute bubble of inflammation. There was nothing healthy about the way I looked in that picture on the left. My health markers went from really horrible to just about normal within about six months. And like I said, right now, I'm happy, I'm healthy. My, my libido is great. I have my life back. I feel so good. Inside, I already knew that I needed all this to feel the energy and health I wanted. I knew that I had the right stuff when I, by using isogenics, but I just wasn't sticking to it. So I had to figure out how to stop fighting myself, how to let go of the old programs that were running the show. So I healed what was inside my mind and then, wow, the body just responded. So here's the premise. Changes to your body and health can happen gracefully when your mind and body, and that means your thoughts and your feelings are aligned for the same purpose. You're here at Asogenics. You've got all the information you need. You've got everything for a great, healthy body, a great, physical experience right in front of you. You've got the nutrition, you've got the experts, you've got everything you need. The only piece missing is that you need to integrate this knowledge into your life. So I use hypnotherapy to evolve knowledge into a way of being. So you can truly be a healthier version of yourself. The program I teach is based on my own successful experience and, and the use of rapid transformational hypnotherapy sessions. So what we do is it's designed to get your conscious mind and your subconscious mind working in agreement to your body's success. And, and what I'm sharing with you here today is that one concept of alignment, because alignment is how your thoughts and your actions work together to make the program work. So I'm giving you really one of the pillars today. And, and this is something that can actually help you eliminate any yo-yo cycling to start to release some of the emotional weight. So your feelings of joy and happiness can come back along with your feelings of success for your program. So we're going to use hypnosis. We're going to use trance and people wonder what that feels like. So as we get down to teaching someone about the use of trance, I think it's important for you to understand what that concept is. What we're gonna to do today is it's gonna be very safe. It's gonna be very supportive. Trance training with hypnotherapy is, is like listening to a meditation. So when you use my reinforcement audio, you'll put in your earbuds, 
You'll get in a relaxed position. You'll allow your mind to drift and you're just going to follow along to the instructions. The content of that recording helps your brain to rewire the old thoughts to new ones. It supports your desired outcomes and, and you'll remember all parts of the session. And even in the part we're going to do on this video today, I promise you there are no weird surprises. You're not going to be instructed to do anything you would feel uncomfortable with. So as an expert hypnotherapist, I've guided thousands of clients already. Just like this, I'm going to be your guide. You decide what the experience is that you want to have. It's totally up to you. You get in there, you feel along. So, so what does it feel like actually? Now trance, or hypnosis is a natural brainwave state. And it's categorized by the brainwave state known as theta. So if you ever look at an EEG, you'll see different types of brainwaves. Some of them are very fast, and those fast brainwaves are probably what you're having right now. That's known as beta. It's the state that you're in while you're learning. They're jumping up and down, your brain is active, you're paying close attention. What we go for in hypnosis is a slower rolling brainwave. It's known as the theta state or somnambulism. For example, right now, if you're in beta listening to me talk and lecture, and maybe as, as I go on, you'll find that you relax a little. And as you relax a little, your brainwaves can slip into alpha. It's a little bit slower. And as you move into trance with me in a little while, you'll be going into the theta state, which is even slower yet now. If it was nighttime and you were going to sleep, you would start in alpha, you'd slip through theta, and you'd go right into delta. So it's natural and you already know how to do this. But we're going for the theta today. We're going to theta and that's where your body is actually a massively healing state. It's healing in that it helps to synchronize your brain and in your heart together. You drift right through theta every day as you fall asleep or if you space out watching TV. And then delta brainwave state is where you sleep. Alpha and theta are the brainwave states of trance or hypnosis. There's a number of organizations that study this. Like for example, the HeartMath Institute has found that when you are in theta, your heart and your brain, your brainwaves, they start to synchronize. They start to move together and that makes your whole mind and body coherent. And as your mind and body are coherent, you become balanced. It reduces your stress response. Your brain chemistry balances and you start to heal your mind and your body all at the same time. And most of all, what you'll notice about it is it feels really, really good. And the great news is that it's a way for you to harness the power of your subconscious mind. Because when you're in theta, the thing called your critical factor, it comes down a little bit. You open up to being suggestible and that's where we can give you the ideas and the thoughts on alignment that you want to think. So, but really, how do you know if you're actually in hypnosis? Now I've mastered the way to help large groups of people at the same time. So I found that the key to helping all of you have the best experience is to make sure you know what this feels like so you can recognize when you're actually doing it right. So let me clear up a few things. You do not need to be knocked out for hypnosis to work. You don't need to be knocked out in another world. In fact, it's very normal for you to be able to hear and remember everything that I say. In a one-on-one -on -one hypnotherapy session, I actually have people talk to me and that's how we get to the real depth of their truth. Now, when I'm hypnotizing an individual, I watch their face. I look very closely for the signs that they're going into hypnosis. And one of the first signs that I usually see is a little bit of rapid eye flutter. And it would feel also like a rapid eye flutter. So when you're being hypnotized or you're going into trance, you might notice that feeling in your eyelids as well. And if you notice your eyes are fluttering, that's a sure sign that you're doing it right. The next really obvious sign is your ability to imagine. I do a lot of creative imagining. I do storytelling, visualizing, imagining in my sessions. So I might imagine, ask you to imagine walking on the beach or being in a forest or 
or whatever the situation is. And you'll be able to imagine things that I described to you. Either you'll see pictures or you'll have feelings or you'll imagine hearing or tasting or smelling, even using all of your senses at the same time to really imagine something. And then if you can imagine, it's a sure sign that you're also going into a deeper state of hypnosis. So a few other signs that'll tell you that you're in hypnosis is that kind of relaxed, dreamy feeling, the one you could get where you could open your eyes, but maybe you just don't want to because it feels so good what you're doing there. You'll feel more focused. And it's easy to relax and enjoy the experience of what I'm talking about. You might even feel as you're starting to drift away a little bit. Or think that maybe you nodded off a little bit while you're listening, but then you awaken when I count you up at the end. Or if you're listening to the recording and you're in a deep trance, which is known as somnambulism or theta, your conscious might not have a clear picture of all the details and the things I said. You could also find that you missed a section of something and your mind can wander and then come back and you might think to yourself, oh, did I miss a whole section of something she was saying? Because the concept of time and place can absolutely melt away. You might lose track of how long you've been doing it you might lose track of where you are in the session. Some people feel so relaxed, they even feel like they're coming out of their body just a little bit. And all those are signs of being in hypnosis. So you don't have to be in a deep, deep knocked out state for this to work for you. And if you're experiencing any of those feelings I just described, you're doing it correctly. If you're feeling all of those things, then you are an absolute ace and hypnosis is going to work perfectly for you. So, now what about alignment? I was promising to give you one of the master keys, and that is the master key on alignment. When we were discussing the best placement for this session in the Body Take Back program, the ladies were very strategic. So, you know, here's the thing. Anyone can power through something for about 14 days. Statistically, when we look at things like New Year's Eve resolutions, they average less than three weeks. So there's no blame, there's no guilt about it. It's just the way it is. So here's the thing. You say you wanna do something for your health and your well-being. You wanna stick with the ISA program, you wanna exercise more, you wanna cleanse once a week, maybe you're vegetarian or vegan, and it doesn't matter. Whatever you actually wanna be doing, whatever the physical changes that you want to make with your body, if you're going to stick to it, it's got to feel right for you. So you can make yourself do something, but when you get into a challenging situation, maybe you go leave your house and you go out into the real world, you go to a restaurant, you go to a party, and push starts to come to shove because let's say it's the third week and that's usually when people say, yeah, I've been pretty good for three weeks. I think I'm just gonna uh, have this or that. Or they'll say, I did three weeks and not enough has changed for me. I'm not getting the results I expected yet. And that's when you give in to the feelings in your body. It's like your mind wants one thing, your body wants something else. And it's because your body is actually still fighting you. So if you find yourself fighting yourself, in trying to make a change, I've got the solution for you. Here it is. So I'll give you an example. And I'm going to warn you. And that's because your body is still fighting you. So if you find yourself trying to make a change, I have a solution for you. This chapter on alignment is the key to it. It's right out of my Unlock Your Body Transformation Code program. And it's about using your mind to change your body. So I've made remarkable way changes to the way that my health is by changing the way my brain thinks. So I stopped fighting myself. And here, let me give you an example. And I'll give, this is a warning. You may hate this example. It might offend some people, so it, if you're really easily triggered and 
warning okay so you might want to just actually turn this this off or fast forward through this part because this has to do with vegetarians and vegans and about things that you don't ever eat things that you've never considered eating so warning all right but it's a great example so here it is it, let's start with the easy one if you're vegetarian or vegan you don't wake up in the morning and go oh i think i'll have to try really hard not to eat meat today because the bottom line is that vegetarians don't eat meat because it is not part of their belief system. Either they don't think the meat is good for them or they don't believe in hurting animals or they don't want to consume pain. They don't want to consume suffering. And so it's never a question in their mind. They just don't eat meat because it's not part of their beliefs. It's not something they do. Now here's that other example that is horrible. But this is the one I warned you about. In parts of Asia, white dog is considered to be a delicacy. Now, I have never seen my neighbor's golden doodle walking down the street and thought, wouldn't that dog be delicious on my plate? I have never thought that. I don't have to fight myself not to eat that dog. I, I don't even have to think twice about it. In fact, it is clearly, it's not part of my belief system. I don't do it. So let it sink in for a second. Don't do it because it's not part of the belief system. The things you fight yourself for when you're on a diet or an exercise program are the things that are not fully aligned with your beliefs. Whether it's sticking to the food program or getting to the exercise, if you say you want to do it and then a part of you is fighting it, if you find yourself making and believing your own excuses, it's because it's not part of your belief system. So with hypnosis, I can help you get in there. That's where you make the change. When you do it with your subconscious mind, it sticks because 85% of your thoughts and all your habits, they live in your subconscious mind. To reprogram your thoughts and the thoughts you use hypnosis or trance training. So, that's what we're doing here today. We're going to take the beliefs that don't work for you. I'm going to show you a technique that can be used to change anything or anything around health, anything fitness, anything around exercise. And it's going to work. It's going to work because we're going to use hypnotherapy techniques. And I've been doing this hypnotherapy work for 11 years now. It works perfectly one on one. It works great with groups, too. And you have the support of all these wonderful people around you. So, so you can just change those things that make your diet and exercise program. You can make this your year. You can change it for now and it'll stay for the rest of your life. It's as easy as that. So if you don't fight yourself, it's not hard. Okay. I got this one for you and, and you can do it and you don't have to give up. You can make the health changes you want. You can have it, really. This is your year. It's like I'm giving you an easy button. So are you ready? Let's get started on alignment. One of the master keys for my signature program, Unlock Your Body Transformation Code, is alignment. And that means your thoughts and your actions are going to be matching your goals and the outcomes that you really want. And by thoughts, I specifically mean your self-talk or the words you say to yourself inside your mind when it's time to take actions related to your goals. Self-talk is the place where you can find, identify, and eliminate the resistance that you get that might stop you from achieving those goals with ease. So here's the thing. When the goals you say you want are just a little bit different than what's actually in your mind, you know, the thoughts you think your brain gets confused. And that's when you start to create or feel the resistance. So as we go through the process of working on alignment, I'm gonna to explain to you a few rules of the mind. Here are a few of the things that are true. and You already know this, so tune in here. Your every thought and word form a blueprint that your mind and body work to make your reality. The strongest forces in humans is that we must always act 
consistently with what matches our thinking. So those two rules, right? You think, then you have the experience. You think something, you make a picture in your mind, you tell yourself something about it, and then you have a feeling. So here's an example. Today is shake day. You think, I'm going to have a shake for breakfast. And you know you're going to have, you're going to grab the blender, you're going to open the packet, put the ice water in, whirl it all around. Maybe you imagine the tasty strawberry flavor, thinking about how thick that shake is going to be. And it's so thick you can eat it with a spoon. Maybe you just mm, imagine how yummy it is in your mouth. You've made a picture in your mind. And maybe you said, this is great. I love the nutrition. I love how easy it is not to have to decide. I just have the shake for breakfast. This is so yummy. You said words in your head. And then you feel happy. You, you have the shake. You feel loved inside. You're satisfied. You're like proud to be doing what you said you were going to do. So you've got emotions. And while it seems logical, it's important to actually take a moment to explain this process. Because your awareness of how your thoughts and your words are forming is the blueprint to success. A big part of what I teach is for you to start thinking the right thoughts. That is the part of stop fighting yourself concept. The next important thing we're going to work on is bringing it to your awareness. So here's two more rules of the mind for you. Your mind always does what it thinks you want it to do. And your mind always moves you from pain towards pleasure. That's away from pain and towards pleasure. So let's think about how that can work for you against you for a moment in this program. If your mind does what it thinks you want it to do, and your self-talk is saying things like, hooray, it's morning. I have an opportunity to take my body out on another wonderful walk. Or, mm, I love starting my day by giving my body this amazing nutrient, nutritious protein shake. That's telling your mind in no uncertain terms that you want the opportunity to exercise and to nourish yourself, right? But if your self-talk is like, ah, oh, I hate putting on my long johns, my sweater, my vest, my hat, my glove. Oh, I'd go out in that cold weather. Ugh. Or here's one. Ugh, this shake gags me. Or <sighs> cleanse day starve me. I just get too weak. Your mind is going to get it that you don't really want to do what you say you're about to do. And then you're forming resistance. You are telling yourself on one hand that you should do the walk or eat the shake or do the cleanse day. And on the other hand, you're telling yourself that you hate it, that you don't really want the walk, that you really don't want the shake and that the cleanse day makes you miserable. The negative talk inside your mind is identifying the shake or the walk or the cleanse day as pain. And since you're human, you are designed to move away from pain and towards pleasure. So if the words you say about to yourself are about hating the walk, the shake or the cleanse day, your mind is going to help you find thousands of ways, thousands of ways to avoid doing them. Excuses are going to flow from you like a magical creation. So you know from experience that the words you say in your head affect the way you feel about something. And the good news is that because the words you say, it makes your self-talk also be able to work for you. Tell yourself in no uncertain terms, every day, whenever you notice yourself thinking about it, that you love the choices you're making, that you love these choices. If it's a shake day, tell yourself the amazing things the shake is going to do for you. And why you love it so much. Go above and beyond. Exaggerate to yourself. Say the words out loud. Say them to people around you. Say them out loud to yourself. Tell other people. Because here's the thing. The mind cannot hold conflicting beliefs or thoughts. They cancel each other out. 
So if your mind hears you saying how much you love and want the things you're going to do without any reminder of the negativity or pain, it's also going to find thousands of ways for that to flow like out of you like magic too. So just to get into the rhythm of how hypnosis works based on those principles of the mind and the concept of alignment, I'd like to present the rest of this video training to you with a little bit of hypnosis. How does that sound to you? So if you're ready, let's begin. Go ahead and get yourself comfortable in your chair, feet flat on the floor, arms and legs uncrossed. We're going to start with your eyes open. Go ahead and start by rolling your eyes up. You'll just roll them up, look up through your eyebrows, up at a point on the ceiling, breathing in, breathing out. And if you feel the flutter, that's the feeling of deep hypnosis coming over you. And just keep your eyes up this whole time, keeping them up and breathing in, breathing out. You feel the flutter. That's the REM state of hypnosis slipping in. Go ahead and breathing in and just close your eyes down. Close your eyes down and allow them to feel glued shut, sealed shut, locked tight. Knowing that each and every word I speak is guiding you into a state of trance. Go ahead and set the intention now. Set the intention to go into trance. Hear your mind say, trance time is irresistible. Go ahead and just allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to move into a relaxed state and to deepen that feeling. Imagine now, imagine with me, that inside the center of your mind, there is an elevator. See the outside of the elevator decorated in beautiful, old-fashioned art deco. See the outside of the elevator. It's a beautiful old fashioned art deco elevator. There's peacock feathers, burnished brass, ornate designs of peacocks and peacock feathers swirling. Intricate design within a design. As you look at it, you know that this elevator will be taking you someplace special. And as you step closer, the elevator lights up. You step in and the doors open with an unusually smooth, polished sound. You step inside. You have a familiar, warm feeling. And you notice the beautiful buttons. They go from one to eight. And there's a floor above eight marked only with a symbol. And there's a floor below one and it's also marked only with a symbol. For this exercise, for this imagination, you select the number four. As you look at the panel, you'll notice that button is glowing a beautiful green, an emerald gem. And as you press the four, the number turns into a symbol. It's the symbol for your heart. And as you press that button, you start to feel a chug, chug, chug. It's like a roller coaster, almost at the top. Three, two, one, and the bottom drops out. Whoosh, you feel yourself descending. 
as your mind and your body are going down at exactly the pace that's right for you, straight into your heart. And when the doors open up, you step out and you can feel yourself right in the center of your heart, the center of your magnet. Because in this trance training session, I'm going to ask you to stay in your heart, to feel from your heart, to listen from your heart, and to see and to understand right from the heart. This lesson begins right here. Find a comfortable place in your heart and just open up to this idea. Open up to the idea that you are a giant magnet. A magnet with a positive end up by your head and a negative end by your root. All humans are designed like this magnet. In fact, all animals have been designed like this. It's scientifically proven. The head is the positive charge. The tail, the negative charge. And just like all electromagnetic devices, energy flows from the negative to the positive. Your energy flows from the root to the crown. And this energy flows right up out of the top of your head. It circles around in a wide arc, 360 degrees around you. It re-enters the bottom again and it forms a beautiful field, a beautiful scientific torus field glowing all around you. It's like a big energetic donut and it's all around you. It's your energy. And the more aligned your thoughts are with the feeling, with your intentions, with your actions, the more this energy path becomes clear, the more easily it flows, the stronger the force field becomes within you. So if this piece of knowledge understands that your heart is also a magnet. It emits a field with the positive at the top and the negative at the bottom. And that beautiful donut shaped force field goes all around. Your heart field can be magnificently large. It can be three meters beyond your body. Your heart field and your body's energy field are ways that you pick up vibrations. You know if you've ever run into someone that you really like or it's been a long time, all of a sudden you feel like you're back with them, like no time at all has passed. And it's simply because you've been entrained to their energy field. Your energies are blending and amplifying. And while some of this may sound a little woo-woo, it's also a scientific fact. Everything alive has an electromagnetic field. So here's the thing with alignment. You're telling your mind that you set an intention for your program. Back when you set goals, you wrote it down. You signed off on that. You made an agreement with yourself. You want that. You know, whatever you wrote down, that was your goal. That was your purpose for this program. And we are about to take that statement of your goal 
and make it part of who you are. We are going to make it a part of your identity, a part of your belief, a part of what feels so natural to you because it's who you are. So align your thoughts and your intentions. It's important to pay attention to the words you speak to yourself. Because really, no words that are spoken to you are more crucial than the ones that you tell yourself. So in the morning, when it's time to do whatever you do to begin your day, your day of embodying the powerful positive changes that you want, you are going to start by giving yourself the proper instructions for the day. It's really important to tell your mind in no uncertain terms, this is what I want, and tell it from your heart, this is what I want. Doing this delights me. I am so happy to be doing this because it's going to give me the powerful positive changes that I most desire. You are not going to give your mind conflicting information. You are going to give your mind clear direction, making sure it's exactly what you want to do for all the reasons you want to do it. And as you tell your mind in no uncertain terms, I love you body. You are my divine vehicle. I want to experience you fully, physically. Let's go for the walk. Let's go for the product. Let's drink the shake and let's be invigorated doing what you'd love to do and feeling so alive. And then just do exactly that. You go on the walk and you love the walk. The walk invigorates you. It lets yourself know that you are on the right path. Doing your walk first thing in the morning, it sets the hole for your heart the tone for your whole day. That's right. You have already been a success. Everything else you do today will be easy. Tell yourself that you want this. In fact, you're more proud of yourself because you set out to do this and you did it. You're proud of yourself because you're strong and smart. You're sexy and sensual. You are embodying the person you want to be now. So as you think about that for a moment, and you hear the intention, think about what your master intention for this program is, for this year. What is it you want to accomplish? In your heart, Get a clear picture, see it, feel it, sense it. Have the vision of yourself. This is the thing you want to accomplish. This is the thing you are here at the Body Take Back program for. And take a moment to review because what are the steps that you need to take every day to make this your powerful, positive reality. And go ahead and review those things now. And what 
are the things that you need to tell yourself in order for that powerful, positive reality to be so. And just take a moment to think of those thoughts. And take a moment at the speed of thought to think of all the things you should be saying to yourself. And also take a moment to acknowledge the thoughts that you could be telling yourself that might stop you from taking the actions you want. Come on, we all do it. What negative thoughts do you tell yourself? Take a second and just list those now. Recognizing those things you say. It's part of your expanding consciousness. You're expanding your awareness. Lock in the ideas and allow your own energy to flow through your body. Feel it circulating now. Take a deep breath in. Set the intention for happiness and feel that flowing through your body. Feel happiness all throughout your mind, all throughout your body. Positive, powerful, alignment. Lock in that feeling. Lock in that intention. This is your heart's desire and you are in the right place at the right time, for all the right reasons. And bring that teaching and that thought with you back to your day, locking it in with one. You're the one getting all the benefits available to you through the Body Take Back program and from Isogenics. And two, there are powerful ways you can increase your alignment and improve your alignment daily. You recognize the power of your thoughts and your feelings working for you. And you recognize this today. And three, eyes wide open, feeling fabulous, wonderfully ready to embody the day in an exciting new way. And how do you feel? Take a moment. Because when I teach in hypnosis, I ask people to do a couple of things as soon as they finish. First, just take a moment to think about what you did well during this particular hour. Now, Take a moment to think about if you had the chance to do it again, what would you do differently next time you practice? Good. Now, I'm Lynn Oliveri. I certainly hope you enjoyed the experience of going into trance with me. If you're not sure if it happened, practice again. I've included an amazing audio file for you that's designed to help reinforce all the thoughts that you need to think to make your isogenics cleanse days and your shake days flow easily and smoothly. It's truly an honor to have shared this with you today. I'm open to more suggestions. If you'd like to contact me, you can reach me on my Facebook page or through my website and lynnoliveri.com or Facebook. I'm also Lynn Oliveri. So it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. And I certainly hope you succeed beyond your wildest dreams on this particular program. Have a fabulous day.